family, friends, friends that are family, acquaintances. No, we don't move acquaintances from the guest list. Oh, right. Well, to all of you, we are extremely excited to invite you to our wedding. We will be getting married on Saturday, February 26, 2022 in Dunedin, Florida, which is a small town just outside of Tampa. Our ceremony will be held at a beautiful small chapel called the Historic Andrews Chapel. After the ceremony, we will have a casual happy hour outside the chapel while we toast with champagne, play yard games, and take pictures. Then, we'll transport everyone from the chapel to Bon Appetit Restaurant for the reception. There, we will have more drinks, good food, music, and celebrations. And cake. Don't forget the cake. We know asking you to come to Florida is a lot, and we are hoping to spend quality time with each of you. So if you are able, please plan your travel to arrive in Florida on Friday afternoon and leave Sunday evening. On Friday evening, we will start our weekend of fun by hosting a social gathering where we can all come together to catch up with those we know and meet those we don't. And then on Sunday, the real fun will occur with a brunch softball game. Pick your side early, team bride or team groom. Well, I suppose before we ask all these folks to come to our wedding, we should probably tell them a little bit more about us. Do you want to tell them how we met? Sure. Britton and I met on a dating app. We were each other's first and final dates using the dating app. I remember seeing her profile one day and I was immediately attracted to her being an engineer, had her PhD, and she liked to travel. So I thought it was worth a shot. Yep, he messaged me first with a pickup line, or a story I guess, that probably only works for traffic engineers. I started with a story about a time I was in Rome touring through underground metro system, and well, it seemed to have worked. It <laughs> sure did. We met in person less than a week later. It was peak bloom for cherry blossoms in DC, so we met at the Martin Luther King Memorial. We walked around the monuments for a few hours that day talking about all sorts of things. I remember talking about movies and how Britain was astounded that I had never watched Miss Congeniality, a movie she can quote by heart. I remember him telling me that he booked a last minute trip to London a couple weekends before by himself just because it sounded fun. But probably my favorite thing he said was when we were talking about softball. I asked if he played baseball growing up, and he said, I didn't play a ton, but I always have my baseball glove in my trunk. Like all guys, right? Going home on the Metro that day, I remember thinking, wow, I just talked to her for over two hours. I don't talk to anyone that long. So when did you decide to propose? Well, I had hopes of going to Hawaii and proposing on a beach, so I purchased the ring, and then COVID kept lingering and lingering and lingering. So eventually I went to plan B, the local option. His proposal was awesome. The night before, he told me we were going on a treasure hunt the next day. As we were getting ready, I asked what clothes I should wear. And he was like, something comfortable. We'll be walking around outside a bit. I naturally put on a dress and boots because come on, he said it was a treasure hunt. The first clue was to Chick-fil-A for breakfast. Britain's favorite. The second clip led us to the batting cages because she recently got a new softball bat and had been dying to try it. We get to the cages and there were quite a few people there. I thought to myself, you got to hit really well because you're swinging a brand new bat wearing a dress and boots. She crushed the ball. And the outfit. <laughs> the next clue led us to our favorite taco stand in Arlington. Alex obviously knows the way to my heart is good food. After tacos, we went downtown to the MLK Memorial where we first met. And then, it was time to give her the final clue that would lead us to the place where I had been planning to propose. He gives me the next clue, which says, Britain's favorite memorial. And I immediately said, Lincoln! And I was like, uh, no, not Lincoln. Washington? No. How about Jefferson? Jefferson it is! So we walked over to the Jefferson Memorial. I had her put together a puzzle with the clues from the day, and I asked her to take adventures with me for the rest of our lives. Obviously, I said yes. We are so excited to start our new family together, and we can't wait to celebrate with you all next year. Save the date, February 26, 2022.